Welcome back. More investors are more worried about inflation than any other economic trend headed into 2022. CNBC took a survey of 400 money managers and more than half of them said inflation is their biggest fear for this new year. Also, take a look at this new poll from Rasmussen. A majority of Americans losing confidence in their financial futures. 34% believe their financial situation will be worse a year from now. Well, business and market analyst Seth Denson is here to help us see through all this and what we should be doing with our money. Also, a Newsmax contributor. Seth, good to see you. Welcome to the show. Hey, Lindsay. Uh, happy belated Christmas and New Year as well, yes. I guess. Yes, happy belated Christmas. All right, so for all those people out there who are like, this does not look like good news. People are not uh, seeing good things for 2022, maybe when it comes to their pocketbook. What is your advice to viewers about their stock portfolios, what they should be doing with their money? Well, listen, a couple of things, Lindsay. It's a great question. First, this is a good time of the year to kind of reset what your goals are. Are you looking long-term or short-term with your money in the market? Are you working with a financial planner that has your best interest at heart, not theirs? These are key questions you should be asking yourself. And I always encourage people, look long-term, not short-term. We talked about it a little bit last week that people that get hurt on roller coasters, those that jump off in the middle of the ride. The market's going to go through some turbulent times in the new year with different variants, monetary policies, uh, a number of things, global economy struggles. As a result, you need to ride this thing out. If you are on a short window, though, you really need to have your goals in order. Look at inflationary hedges and things like that. But also beware, because the Fed probably will raise interest rates in the new year. So you need to be looking at that and look at companies to invest in that have good balance sheets. That's going to be important when interest rates go up. All right, so people who are like, how do I know that who I'm using, who's advising me on my money is the right person? Do you have a couple tips who could say, hey, this means they're leading you in the right direction. This might mean they're not leading me in, in the right direction. You're saying who has their best interests in mind? Yeah, two key questions to ask. That's a great thing. First is, are they a fiduciary? In other words, do they have your best interest at heart from that perspective, meaning that legally they represent you uh, in your assets. Uh, the second question is, how do they get compensated for their work? Are they compensated based on the number of trades that they do or the number of assets you hold? You want it to be the latter because if someone's just getting comp by moving your money around, well, they're going to be more inclined to do it as opposed to making sure you're getting the most out of your money because that's how you want people to get paid. All right, I do want to welcome in to join you now, Steph, uh, Seth Stephen Moore, who is economic former ec ec economic advisor under President Trump and a senior fellow at the Heritage Foundation. Stephen, welcome to the show. I want to get your advice here as well for people who are seeing this rise in inflation. The White House says, hey, it's going to go away. Don't worry. Just write it out. Is it going to go away? What's your advice? Doesn't look like it's going to go away anytime soon. It looks like, if anything, we're going to see slightly higher rates of inflation, at least over the next six months. Producer prices are rising fairly substantially uh, right now, actually ahead of consumer prices. So that's going to filter down in higher uh, prices at the grocery store and so on. The gas price may come down a little bit because there's less demand as many uh, uh, states and, and many countries start to shut down their economies, which I think is exactly the wrong thing to do right now. But look, inflation is too many dollars chasing too few goods. We are spending and borrowing and printing a lot of money right now. Biden wants to uh, print and borrow another three to four trillion dollars. We have to stop that from happening. The other thing I would just say, since you're talking about uh, about and to investors, is that inflation can be good for the stock market in the short term uh, because profits rise in nominal dollars. But in the long term, if you look back at the last big bout we had of inflation back in the 1970s, you know, stock the stock market in real terms fell by over 50 percent in that decade. So uh, rising inflation is not good for investors over the medium and long term. So if you want to be a long term investor, should you buy now or should you wait, Stephen? <laughs> uh, Seth is more the expert on that than I am. Uh, and but I'd say I'd be very cautious right now. Look, I think, you know, the, the basic rule of, of investing in stocks is buy low, sell high. Uh, the market is high right now, 
in my opinion. I would, I'm not saying people should pull out of the market, but I'd be very cautious about putting a lot of new money into a market when those these prices, the P ratios are very high. But Seth may have a different opinion than I do, and he's the expert. Seth, I'll get uh, you to but, respond to that. Yeah, no, Lindsay, I'm, I'm actually on board with Stephen on this in that I, I'm not necessarily throwing a lot more money into the market. I am holding certain positions that I think are important, and I'm looking long term. As I said at the very beginning, it's really important to look at businesses that have a good balance sheet because they're going to be able to withstand whatever storm comes, if it's rising inflation, uh, if it's rising interest rates. Those are the things you're going to want to look at, but you're going to want to make sure, and we say it a lot, it's almost a coin term, you are, are diversified. You've got a diversified portfolio, and you're working with somebody that's, that's got your best interest at heart that can manage it on a, a daily basis. And let me just add one quick right. thing. I know we're running out of time here, but you know it's really important for people to have some hedges against inflation. So what are the best hedges against inflation? Well, traditionally, they were gold, so I think people should own some gold, although the gold price hasn't done much in the last few years, I think you could see a rally in gold. And the new and the new gold is cryptos. And cryptocurrencies uh, are probably a, a good, I wouldn't buy a huge amount of them, but I would I would suggest that as a another kind of hedge against government uh, fiat money inflating in value. Okay, interesting. I know there are a lot of questions about getting into crypto if it's the right move out there. So you're probably perking a lot of people's ears. Stephen and Seth, thanks for joining us. I'm sure a lot of people are so thankful for your advice. I hope you both have a very happy, happy new, new year. Happy New Year. <laughs> Thank you both. I like the enthusiasm. Happy New Year.